Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today, I've got another gem from the Steam Workshop. Now, if you like trains, I, I do admit I do like trains. <laughs> as funny as it sounds, you are going to love this one. Now, we've dabbled in the past with the experimental or hidden rail block that has been used here, and we've had a quick play with some railways of our own, but Ronnie Dude has made a whole island railway. I don't think it's the island of Sodor, but it is an amazing island, complete with dead ends, bridges, viaducts, tunnels, rows of trees. And the way that this terrain is actually built is lovely. We're going to have a little bit of a look around the trains next, but we'll just have a quick look around the terrain. You can see there is lovely arches for the bridge here. There is speed limit signs to keep you safe as you are enjoying your luxurious train drive. So you can see it says 15 through the tunnel. And he has put a massive wall up in the starting area, explaining why he's put these speed limits in place. And if you do exceed them, you will crash and burn. So there's a little dock area here. Maybe you could deliver some cargo or supplies with your friends. And there's a little bit of a tree area, another cool tunnel, but we'll have a look at the rest of the island when we're aboard the train itself. So coming to the station yard here, we have a container yard over on the left with some containers, of course. Maybe the players themselves could build a little forklift to get these car containers on and off. Currently, they look like they are attached solidly to the train, but a quick adjustment would change that up. So this cargo train's got five or six, so it's five cargo containers and then the train itself, the locomotive, up here at the front. These locomotives are really nicely built. This one's got a cockpit inside, some extra thrust as well. And on top, it's got a few connectors to add a bit of detailing. We've got, of course, the cargo building over here, completely empty. These are made out of small blocks, but they do look really nice around the station. We have a diner across the way for all you hungry, hungry train men and women, of course. And, and whatever else. We've got plenty of different beverages on site. We have the Cosmic Coffee, the Clang Cola over there. And we've got this little village and stall here offering various different goods for passing train people, you could say. And there's even a little house here. These are really nice. These are really nicely detailed for a train world where the focus is on the train. Just look at these houses. These are really nice. Look at the roofs as well. They've got like the detailing on the tiles and they've got this little connection lighting across i really like that lighting idea but that looks really cool and nice we've got a level crossing of course going across this area and a little bit of a road that doesn't really lead anywhere but these houses are really quite detailed they've even got in sort of rooms very nice indeed so that's the station area and but the train people who like to boogie we have of course um a disco here at the back and let's continue working our way through what the hell is going on here Okay, well, let's just, <laughs> let's just ignore that and continue our way through the train. So we've got like an observation area. We have got ourselves some seating areas. A few, so these carriages must be repeated. Is there anything different in these further forward ones? But look at the detail on this carriage. They've got this little ramp wheels here. And they're on little axles down here. You can see that there's a joint in this section. A little hinge that allows them to pivot on the track. Have a look at that as we get going. And here is the locomotive or the engine that will be pulling the passenger train. So jumping in through the side door, if we can, use a little bit of a jetpack assist. We'll seal the door up behind us and we can begin. So of course the warning signs are echoed here. Max speed 35 ms, max speed on curves 25, max small turns 15. Go extra slow on junctions, train tends to clang. Keep dampener. Important, do not accelerate on or deaccelerate on corners. It causes the wheels to jump off. You can accelerate once the front carriage is on flat ground. So, with them words of advice in, let's begin our acceleration. So, leaving the station area, they're advising 5 meters a second. It, it, if you like trains like me, this is amazing. If not, you're probably like Aaron. Bring the spaceships back, please. So, we'll accelerate through the station. We're going to keep around 5 meters a second as we pull away there is also a different junction that will take us onto that left track and now we're on the straight we are going to accelerate up to let me just check our max speed 35 ms if possible so the signs by the time we're at the sign we need to be down at that speed so that's something we need to take in consideration we're not going to touch the dampeners at all 
let's just have a look at this train as it's moving over the terrain really nice there's some really nice flex on these trains they're really well built we'll have to have a look at the wheels underneath so we're coming up to the bend we're going to get a bit of extra speed up so as we come in we can drop it down quite quickly so this turn ahead i can't tell what it is is that um that's a 25 turn so let's uh de-accelerate a little bit bring us around at 25 and we're not going to touch the acceleration until we're out on the straight so just let the train take the wheel you can see the front wheels going around there holding onto the track getting some clangy noises but that's to expect with any of these trains and we don't want to hit the accelerator until we're out on the straight here but we are slowing down a lot let's accelerate just a little oh that is probably why we're not supposed to accelerate but the issue we're going to run into here is we're going to have to accelerate a little bit here just to get around this bend so we'll just we'll keep ourselves in that speed limit but we'll try not to accelerate past it because we don't want our wheels coming off the track but we do need the speed to actually get moving we don't want to get stuck on the bend so we're nearly off and we're on the straight again back into acceleration mode wheels are all on the track so the current speed through here is 15 so we're gonna we're gonna try our best to abide, abide by that because when this corner comes up here we're gonna be in the toilet or off the side of the mountain if we're not too careful so let's bring our speed a little further down okay that's coming down nicely there so if hit resume on the recording so i just wanted to check if any acceleration was allowed on the bends and apparently not and we can't mess with the dampeners either so i see the best way of getting around these bends really is just either holding the accelerator or letting off if it looks like it's starting to ride up on the track but we need to keep it under 15 or we won't make this turn and we don't want to give it too many taps on the accelerator especially when we go in between these blocks so it gets quite quite steep and a bit sticky here the trains under carriage is it's managing to do it it's managing to do it pretty well and we're entering into the tunnel any moment in time the back of the train is all on the track look at that <laughs> why is the train so exciting i don't understand why, why i enjoy this so much maybe it's just because it's so different from what i see usually does and i guess it just kind of shows the potential of this game that you can kind of do whatever you want okay so we should still be slow here we've got any light setting there we go this is what the tunnel looks like inside it is very very small and narrow in here keeping the speed down i don't want to derail in a tunnel that would not be good whoa back on the track back on oh this is not good back on the track come on come on give it a bit of acceleration back on the track we don't want to derail here oh this is not good this is really not good oh it looks like we might we might yes we've got ourselves back on the track somehow Whew. i was sweating a little bit then i was sweating a little bit then definitely is our is the back of our carriage off the track yes it is okay that's not particularly what we want it looks like it's actually over the side i'm hoping there'll be something through here that might get us back on oh no we're even further off the track. <laughs> this is not going well is there any way of recovering this now We'll see. We've got a little bit of a, a knock on the track here. Oh, no. I don't think we're recovering this. Oh, please. <gasps> oh, ooh, will we recover? No, I don't think we're going to recover this. We can't We can't recover this now. We, we are going at 15, I guess, around the bend. It's just I don't see us getting back on that track. Yeah, we have derailed. Not good at all. Let's have a quick look at our derailment from above. So we managed to get this far before derailing. Not particularly good. Not particularly good. I think that was because I was a little bit heavy on the accelerator. It's so hard not to press any acceleration on the corners because the train just naturally slows down. Coming through here. This has got a slightly different cockpit. We've got to go five through the town. We don't want to annoy any of the villagers or anyone in the diner if a train just last some pass past the market i do like them little plant things that they've got in there though that's a nice little mod there is of course mods running as we're playing this so acceleration is good oh that says 10 aaron's already broken the speed limit come <sighs> right uh, a reload may be in order in here so let's take it super slowly and as we go around this bend i'm just going to ease off the accelerator yep and we've made it and we've not made it okay so we need a little bit of a reverse there Come on, get back on the track. Back on the track. Come on, it, you can do it. 
Maybe. Oh, we're nearly there. Oh, yes. Back on the track. So you can get yourself back on if you do run into an issue. So we need a little bit more power, I think, to get through that area. We're going too slow this time. So the, tra the trains and the track are a little bit finicky. Too, too bad they don't have a bit more of a precise system for this. It would be nice if uh, Keen came out and, tr and developed the rails a bit further. Because there's a lot of people, including myself. Yeah, see, we're, we're getting stuck there on that part of the track again. Oh, well, well we've got a big, big derailment going on at the end of the station there. Big derailments happen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, let's um let's switch the track at this little connector. And we'll attempt to go up the viaduct. Okay, back into the passenger train. It, the passenger train actually went a little bit well than the cargo one. Every time we got into the cargo one, we ended quite badly. So nice gentle acceleration. We don't want to overdo it push our way through here and across into this next area Ooh, there we go and we should be able to accelerate up now we're on the flat okay train is shifting tracks look at that that's good fun ho, ho, ho. and then we hit the gas I guess we're gonna need some power to get up this slope as well what's the speed limit saying it's gonna be 15 again isn't it so let's give it the full gas right until that corner and then as we go to the corner, I'm going to let off on the throttle here and bring it... Oh, we're going in a bit fast. Okay, now we're down to 15. Oh, it's so, I'm so bad at this speed thing. I am a terrible train driver, but... Anyhow, this gives us a good chance to actually have a look at the undercarriage and see what they've done in terms of building it. So having a look at the undercarriage itself, you can see we've got the spaces that... They're designed to sit on the inside and outside of the track, as well as the running gear. You see these two wheels at the front? These are the ones that actually power the, the drive on the track. We've got thrusters on the inside to slow us and accelerate us. And the running gear is actually on a split hinge axle, like I showed you before. If we can see, it's inside here. With a wheel inside. So there you go, there's the hinge. And that hinge can flex back and forth and allow a little bit of up and down action so as we're climbing them viaducts oh, I only wish we would have got to the viaduct it would have been so cool to just drive over that thing let's let's give it one more attempt one more attempt at that Aaron will become a train driver he just needs to maybe pass some train driver and exams it is this it is a advisory limit well it is it's in red oh it's five it says five that's why that's why we're having so many issues it's not 15 oh we did it again <laughs> Oh, right. Reload. Again. Okay, we are at five. We are holding five nice and steady. I don't want to hit it anymore. We're just going to let the track take us. The track here is on like a... Oh. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> right, we're going to call this a write-off. This is a beautiful track, but you've got to be a very either sensible driver or someone who is capable of making these turns um, it didn't go quite well for me I, that could be because that tracks damaged but I did reload the world anyway I'd like to thank you guys for watching there'll be a link down to this world in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself it's a super cool island loads of tracks to experiment with some planes and trains planes why would you be experimenting with planes here maybe maybe plane attacks on trains with flat guns would be cool anyway I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time